Good evening and welcome to Culver Road for this evening's Sussex Stand BT Memorial Trophy Under 15's final between Burgess Hill Town and Worthing. Face of the defence. And then given away, and there might be a chance here for Worthing with Costa in Manchester. Plays in towards Spiterius, not clear, and then comes back and is fired towards the far corner. And into the back of the net. And it's Cameron Gibson who strikes it beyond the despairing dive of Ethan McGrath. It fell to Gibson just outside the 18-yard area. And he stroked it into the bottom left-hand corner to give Worthing the lead in under 10 minutes. A chance from this free kick. Couple over it for Worthing. And it's going to be struck towards goal, but only just fizzes past that right top-hand corner. Daly, who plays the ball in the channel towards Joseph Overy, he's got a chance to run at his man here. Overy into the box, fires it low across the box, and then it's turned in! And it's Theo Marion, it's winger to winger, and Burgess Hill Town have levelled things up here at Culver Road. Overy ran away down that right hand side, fired it low across the box, and there was Theo Marion to stab it in from close range. and equalise for Burgess Hill and it's 1-0 here. Fletcher Fane spreads a really nice ball out towards Sale and now breaking into the box is Theo Marron. He just carried it to the right and then it comes out to Dylan Hurst. He strikes from range and off. A fantastic save from Jack Carter to push it onto the post. There's some pressure on the defender. And eventually he's forced Long and Costa Manchester's header might fall for Dylan Hurst here. It might come through to Mandoma with a golden opportunity. But what a save again from Jack Carter who's kept his side in it. That's his first touch of the ball and it's to say it's a captain Oscar Eriksson who skips away from a couple of men and now Spiteri has got options for and he goes for goal from Reginald. What an absolutely ridiculous effort from Frankie Spiteri. From all of 30, 35 yards, he sends one flying past Ethan McGrath in the Burgess Hill goal to restore Worthing's lead. What an effort from Frankie Spiteri and it's Worthing 2, Burgess Hill Town 1. Now Theo Marion driving at the Worthing back line. Still Marion, let's go from range and off. A splendid save from Jack Carter. Cross to make the challenge and now Rawlinson with a first time delivery which the keeper has come out to and now it comes back to Potter and it's fired in. Austin Potter with a magical finish. The ball was palmed out to him and he struck it beyond Jack Carter and a Worthing goal to level things up here in Lansing. With just under 10 minutes to go. Oh, it strikes the crossbar and what an effort by Fletcher Fane from just outside the 18-yard box. Going to struggle to win that one in the air and then it's come all the way through and it's driven low across the box and the back, right the back post towards Potter! To a surely one another death! Austin Potter is the man at the moment for Burgess Hill. The second half substitute has scored two goals to come back from 2-1 down to surely win this cup final for Burgess Hill. What a moment for the young striker. They can't and what a tremendous comeback from Burgess Hill Town. Austin Potter, an inspired substitution.